morning, everybody. How you all doing this day? Welcome to the 31st episode of DJ Talk. And now before we get started, I would like to send a shout out that everyone is doing more than just good, but also doing great as well. So keep pushing, guys. You're doing good. No, 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 scratch that. You're doing great. Keep it up. So, if you guys haven't heard the last episode, it was an inspiring moment. So, continue to check out not just the episode, but also my channel as well. If you're new to this channel, I would like to be the one to welcome you guys and make sure you check out my podcast and stay tuned for more. Because it's going to be a lot of content coming up. It's going to be a lot of things are going to be going on. And more importantly, all I can say is just stay tuned. A lot of surprises are coming. So without any further ado, let's get right to it. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to be motivated. So when so to everyone that has a question of what does it mean to be motivated? You know what? That's a very interesting question. It means to be very enthusiastic or determined because you really want to do something. Yep, true to that. There are key steps on how to be motivated. And you know what? We're going to start it off with number one, set goals. Setting goals can make the process of for completing tasks easier. By setting specific goals, you can apply motivation to each one, which may build your determination to complete each task associated with your goals. Try making a list of what you want to accomplish, including long-term and short-term goals. Number two, set boundaries. Know what you want if you spend years denying what you want. You know what? You're not alone in that struggle. Focus on what you want. Start small to build your confidence level. For example, these good examples can spark some arenas for you. Doing this will help you get clarity about what's important to you. And that's and that makes all the difference. The biggest obstacle in asking for what you want is fear. Fear that someone will get mad or be disappointed in you. But you know what? Don't worry about it. It happens. It's it's a matter of that when you Get when you fall down, you get straight up, plain and simple. Setting boundaries means feeling the fear and doing it anyway. This gets easier with practice. Start with the safest people until you gain confidence. When setting boundaries, be clear and concise. Avoid asking others to change. That's control, not a boundary. Your wants should be easy to understand. Number three, be prepared for anything. Always have a positive state of mind. Focus on positives, but also be ready to learn from the adverse outcome. Learn from these experience to be stonic. And not get upset or anxious quickly when you divert your focus and attention on positive aspects. Then you will see the best aspects of a situation. When you see the better aspects, you will have the confidence to negate or use the situation in your favor. When you're concentrating, when you are concentrating on negative aspects, you will only be left with this nothing but disappointment and with stress that will block your progress. 
Develop the right mindset, whatever the situation. Learn to accept and move forward. Life is ever changing. This change can help you learn and grow. Understand that external details keep alerting. You cannot control external events, but can change the way you respond to them. Eternal events are what you should be worried about. Keep yourself strong. Save yourself from the depths of depression due to untoward situation by remembering that you can come out of the situation soon, very soon. Do adopt philosophical doctrines if you find them helping you positively. Number four, stay confident. Be kind to yourself. Do your best to accept yourself as just as you are in the present. Everyone has some things they might want to improve about themselves. But it's much easier to do that when you already love who you are. Self-improvement becomes more like helping a friend than deciding an enemy at that point. Get outside your comfort zone. I'm going to say it again for the people in the back. Get outside of your comfort zone. The more you venture outside of your comfort zone, the more opportunities you'll have to develop your confidence, develop confidence in yourself. If you're suffering from a lack of self-confidence, the last thing you might want to put yourself in an uncomfortable situation. So, take baby steps to f- the best of your ability. Excuse me. It's normal to feel self-conscious as you begin to stretch yourself and you might feel a bit awkward as you try new things you used to fear. Each time you face your fears, you'll become a little more certain you can handle all life will throw at you. Make a list of positive qualities. Sit down and try to make a list of times you felt good about yourself or qualities you appreciate about your personality. You might think there are only negative things to say about yourself if you're struggling with low self-esteem. But, but, perhaps there's a first time for everything. As you get going, you might realize you're founder of yourself than you think. Number five, be productive. Set small goals. Large tasks or projects can feel intimidating, and we often overestimate how long they will take to complete. You can create forward momentum by breaking tasks down into manageable bite-sized milestones, which build until your project is complete. Before you begin with the work and activity, you need to have a good preparation. You need to know the purpose of your work, what you need to do, and why you need to do that. Think about things that can mentally prepare you for the day that follows. You can dedicate time for motivation educational, and spiritual preparation. Cut your to-do list in half. In other words, cut it in half with a scissors or knife or whatever you can cut with. Just cut your to-do list in half. Getting things done during your workday shouldn't mean fitting in doing as much as possible 
in the sanction eight hours. Do you really need those 30 tasks on your to-do list? Like, answer that, ask that question yourself. Do you really need to do that? Well, you guys know the answer to that. You guys can answer that question. Make sure you comment when you answer that question. So, take a less is more approach to your to-do list by only focusing on accomplishing things that matter. And last but not least, one of my favorite words I like to use, well, not one, but a lot of them are my favorite. Number six, be consistent. Patience. Patience is the key to consistency. We have to be patient and focus our effort diligently in one direction in order to produce quality, lasting, tangible results. One of the main reasons people don't stick with what they're doing, whatever it might be, is simply impatient. Belief. Likewise, failing to believe in what you're doing will definitely kill your consistency in doing it. Or to look at it another way, make sure, make you much more consistent at not doing it. Your consistency or lack thereof in what you do is a good indication of your true belief about it. Value, the perceived value for a particular thing, which results from the action you need to take, should be taken into consideration. Everything that we do is generally motivated by one of two things. Fear and desire, in, in ca either case you take Action based on perceived value. Running from a bear has the value of saving your life. While running as a form, form of running has the value of maintaining your health. It is a natural tendency that if we fail to see some kind of return from some, from whatever, we're doing, we are automatically demotivated. That's the opposite of motivating. As a result, our consistency suffers. So if you are not motivated, you're in trouble. I, when I mean in trouble, I don't mean just in trouble for a little bit. No, I mean you are in deep, deep trouble if you're not motivated. Because at the end of the day, you need to be motivated. You know, I'll tell you guys something like this. At times like this, at a young age, whenever something comes into my mind and whatever something that I want to do, I will basically motivate myself and be ready for what I need to be, what I have to be ready for. Fire myself up knowing that when I, when I set my mind into something and believe that I can succeed, I will succeed. Plain and simple. Just motivate myself, be prepared, and succeed. Motivate your Well, that's the three things you got to do. Motivate yourself, be ready, and succeed. Repeat. So, you see... If I can do those things, so can you. But don't take my word for it, you know. But you don't have to take my word for it if you don't want to. But I'm just saying, though, it's up to you. All I have to say is just motivate yourself and be prepared for what is going to happen. And never give in to the feet nor give in to fear as well. For example, well... Anyhow, 
If you want to be the best version of yourself, motivate yourself. If you want to be the best worker in your job, motivate yourself. If you want to make your family proud, motivate yourself. Actually, if you want to make your family proud, and not only that, and feel the satisfaction from your family, motivate yourself. It will make a huge but huge difference and be the best contributor as well. So you see, you want to make your family proud and feel satisfied. In other words, feel the satisfaction of your accomplishments. And not only that, but also feel that you did something right. That's what you want. You want to feel that satisfaction that you have accomplished something. So to end this episode, if it's okay with you guys, I would love to motivate you guys about what's going to happen to you, not just for this month, but also in years to come. When push comes to shove, you don't back down from anybody. You know why? You're strong. You're courageous. You're fearless. You're extraordinary. You're great. You're awesome. And you're not a quitter. Don't you ever, and I mean ever, quit. If those who choose to quit, there's the door. But those who choose to keep going, keep going. Push yourself to the distance and keep pushing forward. In this life, nothing is given to you. You have to earn it. You have to win it. You can't wait for anything to be given to you. You have to earn that yourself. Don't wait for opportunity to come. You grab that opportunity. You grab the bull by the horns and never let go. Well, I'm just saying, you know, you you know what I mean. When when I mean grab the bull by the horns, you hold it and you make sure you seize that. I know I've said it multiple times here. I know I've said it multiple times, but... But here in DJ Talk, I can say this again. And for anyone that is new here, you know what? You're just in time. Right place, right time to hear this. If you can keep moving, you can keep moving. And I got a question for all you guys. When do we give up? And if the answer is never, make sure you comment, you comment down below to answer that question. So, thank you guys for tuning in. And I really hope that you guys are motivated and ready for anything that comes your way. Stay tuned for the next episode of DJ Talk. Stay positive, stay motivated, stay aggressive, and more importantly, stay focused. Peace out, and hope you guys have a splendid Stellar and great day.